das ist oder so. Alright, thank you so much for making time and joining us right here on Debate 411. Of course, less ties on the set. I've just been told that earlier on. And of course, it's going to be a laid-back show. But of course, a very important topic that we're going to be talking about right here on the program. And that is music in Rwanda. And we're talking about the issue of its evolution and the hashtag we are using is 250 music debate or you can use the usual hashtag debate 411 my name as always is eugene anangwe <laughs> Right, let me introduce our panelists on the program they told me that they'll give us a very super special intro uh, do you, are you waiting for a cue for the web no, we don't three two right, one right, let's right, go right, right, right. <laughs> i said can i kick it then Jay. you say yes, yes you can. can i kick it yes, yes you can. can can i kick it <laughs> Yes, yes, you can. can. So here we go. Boom, 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 and yeah. I'm hoping that tonight on the program we're going to be talking nothing but the truth Always. about the music industry Always. in Rwanda. What Thank you for joining us on Nespresso. Debate 4 and 1. <laughs> <laughs> also with us is uh, Mr. Noah Hala, and that is Eric Sol, Afro Bisol on Twitter, and of course uh, one of the founders of uh, Afro Group. Thank you for joining us on Debate 4 and 1. Thank you for having me. Right, uh, next uh, to me right here on my immediate right is none other than Nelson Gashagaza, communications person at uh, Kigali App. Yes. Thank you for joining us on Debate 4 and 1. Thank you. Eric oh, Wanki, the man himself. Number one key. Only one key. Right. So thank you for joining us on the program. Appreciate you're it. fusing poetry with music. This is what you do. But you say you're a poet by accident. Yes. <laughs> Why do you say that? I didn't know I was going to be a poet. You never knew never about that. Never in time, yeah. Never right. in my life. So, yeah. so talking about music, let's start with uh, Albert, because Albert has been here longer than all of us, unless if some of us are hiding our age under some sort and of... <laughs> well, yeah, mine. So when, you, we, when we talk thank about... Thank you for finally revealing <laughs> yes. my, my true <laughs> status. Right. So when we talk about the uh, evolution the of... The oldest teenager in this, in this room, uh, in right, this room yes. right. So yes. when we talk about the evolution of music industry in Rwanda, are Today, we? if you look back where you started from and where you are today and the industry itself, can someone really say that there's been evolution? They <laughs> of course, mm -hmm. uh, we're we coming from very far. I mean, that is, that is obvious, Eugene. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 real, the question would be, what kind of evolution? Mm -hmm. where, where are we coming from, right. actually? You know, when, when it is uh, b about the music industry. But there are different aspects. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and I'm glad that we have different uh, angles with, with the, the members of, of, of this panel here. Yeah. We, we, can, we can touch on different aspects. Because there is music as music mm -hmm. that is needed if you also want an industry. Now, mm -hmm. the industry becomes when you say you start selling. You know, because uh, th so, so you, you start to create revenues with the, with the fact that you, you sell art. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go as back as, as before the war, uh, these were the days where the maximum of, of, of copying that you could do in this country was, was tapes. Mm -hmm. In those days, w you had like labels already. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, very funky, by the way. And these guys were recording artists, like the Impalas and all the, the, all the big names that we had the, in those days. And they were selling for real. Mm -hmm. But uh, today? No. Then came, then came a, a digitalization of, 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 of the industry. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes a bit more difficult to, to, to sell, you see? Uh, but also, let's say that there was, there was the, 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 br the breakdown of, 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 the, of, of, the, of, the, of the genocide, and then you had to, to rebuild. So the industry had become much tougher because uh, with the CDs coming in, and people ab able to copy, copy and, and even piracy, download. in yes, fact, yes. you know, and, and with that. So there was less revenue, but also there was less initiative of people to say, I'm going to produce an artist and really do all, go all the nine way down to, 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 
to have a, a, a package that you can now start to sell. Right. Right, so Albert gives us a background of, of, of right, the evolution has happened, but from where have we come from? Eric, so, you know, being a DJ yourself and also, you know, trying to fuse uh, Afro music and, and the, with the digitalization that Albert is talking about today, people, some of those people who rightly sort of judge the music in Rwanda, they say that there's less of creativity in today's music. We seem to be seeing a lot of copy-pasting and just putting it into Kenya Rwanda and we say this is local music. Do you agree with that argument? I agree that what is produced locally can be called local. Um, you know, that's music produced in Rwanda, it's local music. But now, you know, if you look at the, the whole aspect of the origin of the music, the identity of the music, um, as a DJ, I can see that most of African countries have an identity yes. in the music that they produce. Yes. Uh, in Rwanda, it's a different case. Um, we have that kind of Afro beat, which is like a, a hybrid of R&B and pop and, and so soul. So we do not and have and an and identity you can pick and say this is the Rwandan music identity? The traditional music, you mm. know. An altered um, tr traditional Af uh, Rwandan music is identifiable all over the world. And this is what mu uh, music lovers in Rwanda and outside of Rwanda probably are looking forward to. But the industry is formatted, as he was saying. The, mm -hmm. the industry is formatted, so the young generation of today have a tendency to use the tools that they have today. They don't have the, the means to go into studio and to spend so much time on music, on musicianship, and the recording equipment. So, you know, a simple software is very easy. A computer, you spend like an hour or two in the studio, you have a beat, you put your voice onto it, and then you have the local music. Do you feel that there is copy-pasting in this particular situation? Totally. Then? Totally. totally. We for, we're formatting, yes. and um, unlike other countries of Africa, yes. we, you know, Rwanda, what need, Rwanda needs to do is to really embrace the cultural heritage and incorporate that into the modern way Albert of has doing been music. shaking his head from the time you say totally, but I'll be bringing back. Let's first talk about uh, uh, Nelson here. Yeah. He speaks of identity. Mm -hmm. If we go to Kenya, there is Genge music, yeah. you know. If you go to uh, Tanzania, you have yeah. Bongo. Uh, in Rwanda, what do we call ours? Do we even have an identity? Uh, I, I believe there was a website called Inyarwanda, and then Inyarwanda <laughs> tried to, to define what music, Rwanda music is. But uh, in a way, uh, like Eric was saying, no traditional, really, like music that is uh, produced here, <laughs> what it is, it's Inyarwanda and Inyarwanda uh, most of the times. But, but again, I disagree with Eric in, in so many ways. I, I think uh, today when I was in a car and then a driver put in Fadi Pupa and then I was like, man, the Congolese are coming back mm -hmm. because the Nigerian are sleeping down. Mm -hmm. But when we hear the music, the Nigerian music, uh, it is, we can hear some vibes from Congo itself. It's Congolese, yeah. So are, are we saying, are we copy pasting? I'm saying no, we, we are just inspiring ourselves in a way. But having said that, I believe, yes, being an artist is that. It's being at best at copying. Best at copying. This is yep. what calls being an artist. This <laughs> is what he says. Eric, y you agree with that? Do we have an identity? Let's first talk up, talk about the issue of, of identity here. If if someone played today's urban contemporary music from Rwanda and plays one from Tanzania, would you be able to say this is typical Rwandan because that's the sound of Rwanda? As you can say, this is the sound of Bongo. No, definitely. <clears throat> I mean, if you listen to the radio right now, let's say whatever, I'm not going to mention any brand, but if you play, let's say, modern Rwandese music, as we call it, you're going to feel like it's a bad copy of Nigerian music. Mm -hmm. And it's not just Rwanda, actually. Even Uganda, when you go to Uganda, they do the same. They do a lot of um, ragamuff. They do a lot of dance hall. They even speak patois. And um, to the question of identity, I think you have to go through this phase as well in terms to find yourself at some point mm -hmm. because it's not just in the music industry it's pretty much in everything that we do we copy a lot not daily you know the things that we wear the way we talk the things that we do the services every time we we're not innovative people as, as you know because we don't come from creative backgrounds we're not given that freedom of creativity since a young age you know so as we grow what we do we've been copying all this time and um, I'm pretty much the music that I do, some people, it's not, it's not original, mm -hmm. but it is authentic to me mm -hmm. because I, I feel like it's my voice and the way I'm using it, it's my feeling, it's my, I, I feel like I'm trying to find my own style as well. But by trying to find it, it is already the style that I'm establishing. So it's, it's, it's your identity, your own identity, but you were shaking yeah. your head when Eric was talking about Not just issue. Eric. Yes. Uh, 
I think we, we, we are just mixing a lot of dimensions yes. and, and layers in music. Mm -hmm. First of all, if we talk about an original identity, we, 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 we already have a problem because in the original identity yeah. of Rwanda music is so special. In, in, in the sense that it doesn't share with even neighboring cultures. The rhythm structure of our music is complicated com compared to the way music has been simplified to be globalized mm -hmm. and accepted yeah. by everybody. The, the, the trend in general is just to make things, in, uh, to, to give it um, some dimension. We talk in, in bars of four. Mm -hmm. And the rhythm is four, one, two, three, four, one. And then even when you start the music, you, 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 you hear these guys uh, counting down. Now, that structure of four is the, that has won in the world. Yeah, universal. 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 Uh, whether it's reggae, whether it's samba, whether it's funk and all of that. Yeah. And maximum, if they complicate it, they make it six, eight. Mm -hmm. Now, all, all the cultures from... Uh, in Africa, facing the Atlantic Ocean, are in fact on, on that. On, on that, yeah. uh, uh, they have that in common, and that is why that that rhythm got at the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, and from the U.S. and from the Latin America, in fact, re uh, reconquered the rest of the world. Actually, so that is why it's also easy that the Congolese were so tough because the rumba came all the way from from Congo went to the Latin uh, uh, to the Americas yeah, and came paper. back you know the same for reggae for for all of these things at this side of Africa in East Africa it's a bit more complicated mm -hmm. but in general here they they on this side they're on 6 8 but in Rwanda they're even more particular and 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 the basic here is 3 4 and 3 4 is like a waltz and to to make it funky, that's a bit complicated, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So to, to, to have your, your original identity, to have that imposed to other culture is a challenge. This said though, people today, outside the globalization, are also looking for this pearl that is unique. Exactly. So there is space, there is space in the music industry, global, uh, global wide. But how do we uh, become unique when, 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 when they say that when you listen to what we call urban music from Rwanda, you hear? I wanted to explain yes, first the, 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 fact that, that the fact that in, in our original, in our traditional identity, we are unique. And that is very difficult even when we modern. So when we talk about modern Rwandan music, for me, I would say, First of all, that is that kind of music. And at least we, you, have, you have the memory is now being transmitted. You have young contemporary uh, uh, artists who are using that, that, uh, the, the, that basis, that identity. It is there. It exists. You, you find the Masamba. You find the, the, uh, 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 all the guys who came from that tradition, the, the, the Byung Vuhore, the, uh, from that tradition. Now, the urban contemporary, that is, of course, no, we're part of the world, Eric. We're part of the yeah, world. Sure, it's sure. not the fact that we grew up without being creative. That is not true at all. Mm -hmm. We are creative. Everybody's creative. Only maybe you might not have noticed it, but you are and everybody is. But maybe but there's a reason why Eric had to say there that. Is, there, is a trans there is a fact of, of, of a globalization. Mm -hmm. And you first, because we didn't have that kind of industry, you first take that. You, you use it. You work it out. And... Of course, they will digest it and, and, and come out with, the, with the their own stuff. But the has always been there, yes. like you said. Yes, the yes, absolutely. But you had a reason why you said we, we, we grew up not being creative people for us to absolutely. be able to, I mean, to, 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 to make it in the way Look at it. For example, we, there are even some really, really basic things. I mean, the simple fact that you cannot write with your left hand is a problem, but you are a lefty, for example. Just, just, just a That's little... That's everywhere, Eric. Yeah, All societies have of these kinds of, of, of No, but I'm so I'll, I'll talk about yeah. the things that I know, are you right? Yeah, I know. But, but these are but, things but that you also know that everybody... Uh, I'll oh. speak from, perfect from, from what I know, right? Yeah. People, they will, talk to, they will say what they, what they feel, what they know, and I can only talk from my standpoint. Right? But the challenge again here is because of that issue of the identity and all that, 
we have had a situation of going beyond Rwandese borders, and, and, and this is another issue. We're talking of, of it's not, we're not just living, you know, in isolation. There, there, there is uh, regional integration, there's opening of borders, which also has to open borders for musicians and for, 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 for the pieces of work that Eric does and other musicians do. But how many of our local <coughs> artists are being played in other countries, for example, in Kenya, Uganda, TZ, uh, you know, based on the kind of job that they do. Very few of them. Th th this, is, this is the situation. Th exactly. Yes. So because it's true, you know, we, we, let's, let's, let's not mix up, mix up things. Yes. The globalization effect is really real. People need to create some so kind of product. So why do you think well, our local musicians yeah, don't bef really bef penetrate bef the market Before that, before that let's recognize the, the music from Africa that managed to get into the globalization by keeping an identity. Mm -hmm. You see the South African, they came with the Queto sound. Yeah. 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 Even if it's on yeah. to the floor, they still put their identity with the voice, with the tone, with the language into the music. Now let's talk Rwandan Rwanda musicians. Let's talk Rwandan musicians mm. now. Uh -huh. Based on the Wha same Rwandan musicians need to make the same approach. Because, yes. you know, I need to go to those example. South Africa came with Queto. Angola came with Kuduro. Mm -hmm. They put some, some kind of you know, the traditional music with the samba and they put that into electronic. The, the, the Malian, they create their own sound, which is like, you know, traditional sound. And they managed to get popular. They managed to create superstar who play traditional music every year for the last 30 years. Every year they, they create global superstars using traditional music. Mm -hmm. Nigerian, they've got the Afrobeat sound. Mm -hmm. Whatever they do with electronic today, the Dibanj and all those kind of guys, they still go into the drum pattern of Fela Kuti and, uh, and, uh, and Tony Allen, mm -hmm. which is typically uh, Nigerian. So when we have an identity, um, it, it's all good to come with the, the, the whole theory of, of globalization, but at the same time, those people were like not looking at outside, they were looking at within, what is our culture, what is our heritage, and then you translate that into a modern context. Mm -hmm. That's when the outside world is going to recognize you. That's as long as you sound like any other country, people will not recognize a Rwandese from the Ugandese, from the Kenyan. They just know that sound, oh, it makes me sound African, sound Nigerian, or South African. Mm -hmm. Those are the two main um, you know, sound hybrid that people can recognize globally. Right. And, and the, Congolese. The, 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 argument, Congolese. the argument is that, you know, this is the trend today. This is what people want to dance to. And so, Local artists have argued and say that this is why we end up doing the same because if I, you know, isolate myself and keep to my own way of doing things, then I will lose out because in the end of, at the end of the day, all I want is recognition, all I want is, you know, to be played, air, airplay, and so if I don't follow the trend, then I miss out on the, on, 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 on the cake. I, I think there's a, a different facet in, into that argument. Mm -hmm. One is this. Um, it might be popular, it's what the radio really wants, it's what the TV really wants. Mm -hmm. But the question is going to be, are you enabling yourself to, to be on radio or on TV at the same time? Because he, let me give you a simple uh, example here. W when you listen to the music that comes from Uganda, it's no different from Jamaica. And then I will be blaming them for not being original. Mm. But how, how, how are they managing mm -hmm. to be able to be played on radio in Rwanda or even regionally? Mm -hmm. That's a question. That's the big question here. Mm -hmm. Salt is salt that is now hitting everywhere. Their music is not different from any other guy in Rwanda, for example. But why does this guy from Rwanda goes, doesn't go in Kenya, for example? Here comes to the point of saying, do we have uh, the, um, our, our artists, do they have management companies, production companies that actually enables us, able them to to grow and go where they cannot. So you will have artists like, like Urban Boys spending thousands and thousands in Nigeria to, 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 to have a featuring with an artist in Nigeria. But at the end of the day, they just produce a song in Nigeria, but they don't create relationship with media in Nigeria. Mm. So mm. the song is played only in Rwanda, mm. no originally. So at the end of the day, when it comes to play, it's also a question of relationship that you're building with uh, promoters, producers, and radios and journalists. And then that's the biggest problem we are having with artists in Rwanda. We don't have uh, the networks and the, 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 cohesion, the cohesion. Eric is just seated next to you here. And, and if someone listens to you as a communications person, they wonder why don't you take then those opportunities? Because these are opportunities. Is it because Eric's or the, the kinds of Eric do not see the need for those uh, you know, people who can help them beyond just having these collabs and creating these relationships? No, 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 is it a concept that no, is not really no, bought no, no, by uh, Rwandese one, musicians? One, I think, one for the artists uh, here in Rwanda, uh, I'm, I'm not going to generalize here, but I think sometimes for them it's about producing music, it's mm -hmm. creating music, and then wait uh, if they get a chance to, to be on radio, and then not going beyond. Mm -hmm. But also it's a question of 
us people, me, Eric, and then everyone else who are in the business of saying we are doing PR, we are doing uh, promotion to mm. say, okay, you have created great music, yes. but can <coughs> we take it out <coughs> there? Uh, but we really have to see, to look the problem further. He said about the industry, but now today, if someone had come here in 1998 in in and then see uh, a fiber cable being laid down, they would have said, but these guys are being crazy. They are not building schools. They are, they are putting a cable down here. But what we understood is this. When you put an infrastructure in place, then you are allowing industries to grow. See the point? But now we are living in a, in a, in a set where actually we are not putting uh, infrastructures for talents to grow. That's Who what should I put think. those infrastructures? So I'm looking in this. Uh, uh, here I'm saying like any industry in this Rwanda, the biggest consumer happens to be the government. So when, when Eric pays for calf and then he's getting paid $100, $1,000 $1, $1, $1, $1, so now? <laughs> A thousand dollars? Three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. One hundred thousand. One hundred thousand. Rwandan francs. But 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 the same time from the report that I was reading, uh, guys who were who were working in Cannes, they were being paid by the government of Rwanda one fifty dollars a day. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. That's 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 math you have to see. Mm -hmm. If the government is not spending money as a biggest consumer of mm -hmm. anything in this Rwanda, mm -hmm. then me and Eric, we are not. Going You've to been spend set up? right. So, so, no, so not really. Like, not can, I, can I say just that? one little thing about this? It's not a problem yeah. to actually be factual on, on, on that particular issue. So have no worries about that particularly. No, it was no, one hundred and. It, one it was one hundred and. It was the one zero zero three zero. <laughs> so one hundred thousand. And and do you think what he's saying is what will help Rwandan local artists absolutely. to to to, to yes, go out there? Yes, absolutely. I can't. Let's say it again. No, no. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, a hundred thousand. That is a lot of money. So how how do we then? Go to the studio. Yes. You can make a video. Yes. You can actually tour around the country. It's a lot of money. Before you tour, you need to rehearse. Yes. I mean, no, no. But to be honest, right? So the thing that I haven't been doing music for a long time, and I'll tell you why I started doing music. So you it, started or you stopped? I started. So basically, I used to write. I used to blog a lot. Mm -hmm. Then uh, this magazine called Inspire Rwanda asked me to be a, to to provide some content for a column, mm -hmm. and then I wrote. Uh, column on Randy on the it was so called evolution of Randy's music. This is what we're doing actually mm -hmm. here. And the title was is the is in Yarguanda, an industry of copycat. Mm -hmm. And I I went from the point from Kairewa's music, Muyangu, people were actually because you know it's real music, it's creative because it doesn't sound like anybody else. Because mm -hmm. it's it's a particular story. It could be a style is pretty much the same, but the story is just it sounds like I haven't heard this before, right? And so people, these artists, they will put their own life on the lines, if I may say that, mm -hmm. because you talk about things that are only real to you and your perspective and things like that. Even a time where you're not supposed to talk, for example, right? And so from that, there is a huge difference between those that we call legends today, right? And the artists that we are today, because we are really lazy. What we see on TV, it's a woman shaking her butt, and what we want is exactly a woman with the same size of the butt, mm -hmm. and it's the same piano keys, and it's the same message we just put in Kinyaranda, and mm -hmm. that's what we do, mm -hmm. right? Because all people want is to be on TV, right? Mm -hmm. and Regardless so of whatever and that's, content you're what putting you want, out right? there. Now, here's the problem. Yeah. As a creative, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an artist, if you put that video, it's not going to last more than a month. Because first of all, the way the video got on that TV, you had to talk to your friends, and then it's not because you have the quality. Is because you have some connections, but they also fade out with time, right? Mm. So what happens is that after two months, you're gonna do another song, a hit song, and a hit song cannot. It doesn't last. I mean, in this country, how long does it? What's the mm. what's the span of life? And after that, what happens? I, that I, 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 yes. You know, you know, Eric. In the real world, eh, in the other world, where it's the music yeah. industry is the industry. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Do you think the record companies don't go to the to to to, to the media? And organize the, 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 the whole market. Right, but, but there's a key point you mentioned about being lazy. About being lazy. Just no, no, we see what I agree, we see. I agree. Yes. I agree. But, but you know, we, this industry is only taking off since private made media came into, into the game. How long is that? That's only a, a couple years of years. Ago. It's only is 10 it years. Is, 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 is when that enough? I was there. It it I mean, you were uh, there too. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, 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 so so, so, so it's, it's only... Let him develop his point. Yes, so yes. so yes. this industry, the missing link that we had after 94, mm -hmm. when there was talent, and uh, the missing link was the media. Because 
You don't have stars without the media. You Absolutely. All, you, so when the private radios came in, we all talked to each other and mm -hmm. we said, you know what? We are for the moment playing 99% of foreign music. Mm -hmm. So we need to push local industries. And thanks to those little softwares and all that, we had the booming, mushrooming of new producers, yeah. news, and anything came in. We took anything so that we had at least Kenya Rwanda. Now these guys came and, and went. But now that is coming in place. Now you have guys who are really putting, they have a style, Kina music, Baba, they're producing. So we are coming there. Sure. So we, we are getting out of the laziness because it was in the beginning just copy paste because just software. So guys are getting more sophisticated. But Nelson is pointing something that is, that is crucial, mm -hmm. is that to have the industry, when I say the missing link was the media, not just the media actually, the media in plural in the sense that not just the airing, but also places where you can enjoy, mm -hmm. where you can dance, yes. mm -hmm. where you can perform, mm -hmm. where you have the music doing that. Because when you have all the of these guys, experience. the physical experience, not just the virtual experience, the mm -hmm. physical experience. Because when you have all of those ties that they have developed in all of those countries, it's because you had places where Fela could play, where, where, uh, with, with Tony Allen. And, uh, yeah. where you had places where, where, right. with Franco and all of these guys. So, 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 so in one sentence, what are you trying to say based on the situation as it is today in Rwanda? For the moment, we only have the links from the artist going to the producer and going to the 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 um, the, 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 the airing, mm. the, 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 the the media. media. Yes. Now the whole that, thing yeah. we Brandywa is doing great by trying to, to do this thing. Kigali up is doing great too, but we don't have enough new places. And and especially especially because here, here we, we you see in our society somewhere we are very pro. Uh, and supportive of the creative industry. Yeah. But we are stopping ourselves because we, the entertainment industry has some blocking. You know, if you have to play in, in, in places where you, you soundproof all the time, when you, you need an AC and all that, and it's not natural that you don't have a place where you are even in open air that you can play so music. this is that part of what is also blocking the growth. Absolutely. And this, is the, this is the cable that, that, that you need to, to, you need the infrastructure. Yeah. How many theaters do we have in this, in this country that ac ac accommodate a real show? Yeah. Uh, trust you, me, if you, you write something in a, in a, in a Petista now, you, the only, even if you have a, a, the biggest sound system you have, now you have the eco you cannot control the sound and then everyone was coming. And Serena is not the place to go. Coming to the right. point. Right. No, 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 coming you, to the you point. will develop that point when we come back from the break, okay? Just yeah, keep, keep that thought, but we're going to take a very short break right about now. And of course, I'll be sampling some of the tweets that have been coming through. I have one from uh, Olivier Super B on Twitter. It says, uh, stuck on Gasaga's uh, ideas. They are so meaningful. Diamond Plat Platinum's does what style? Quality and promotion of music you do only uh, uh, matters. And of course, I have I totally agree with this 100%. Um, uh, this was there's an element of laziness, and someone agrees uh, that, that, that there's actually an element uh, of, of laziness. I don't there know why Leititia that. says yeah. that we tried our best to watch Nelson, it wasn't easy. And there's a screenshot there of you looking so dark. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, some of us are pretty hard to sit down. <laughs> 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 right. So, so, so let's take this very short break. We'll be coming back to sample more of your tweets. Keep them coming no, at the bit four and one. And of course, I'll be reading them but right here on the program. Stay with us. The bit four one comes back after the break. <laughs> So, so, so Natasha, are we are we cornering our teachers? Exactly. Are we being unfair to them? I, At the end of the day, Fiona also mentions that the more you show them this condom, mm -hmm. the more you're opening up their minds yeah. to having sex. But do you feel well represented? Do you think the media issues are well taken to the table when it comes to advocacy? How do we convince them and say that we shut it down because you exceeded the limits? The word conservation looks just. How do we what role do our schools play then? And the people around our children, what role can they play in order to avoid these children becoming a menace in the society? Yes. Caroline, you just want to sound moral, but you're I... just not accepting the reality on the ground. Well, I want to sound moral and encourage it and practice it.
is an EA production. My name is Stephen Zibiza, CEO of Rwanda Private Sector Federation. I usually watch the bet 411. One of the experience is it's so educative, so engaging, and I encourage everyone to appear on it and watch it. Debate 411 with me, Eugene Anangwe, at this times on Rwanda Television. This is an EA production. Right, thank you so much for being with us on Debate 411. We are here Mondays and Wednesdays, 9 p.m. live on Rwanda TV. You can stream at rba.co.rw. Get connected, get in touch with us at Debate 411. Use the hashtag Debate 411. Or you can tweet me directly at I'm Eugene Anangwe. I'll be sampling some of those tweets uh, right here very shortly. And of course, we are talking about the issue of the evolution of Rwandan music. Talk to us. Do you feel that there's been change and it is change from what to what and what more can we do as Rwandan musicians to enable us to penetrate regional and global markets. These are some of the things we're talking about right here. We've got Albert Rudetsimbuwa, we got Eric Soul, we got Nelson and of course Eric Wanki uh, right here. Now, the first break we've talked about the evolution part and some of the stumbling blocks and all that but it's important to also look at the other issue of the making money part of it. You know, there's, there's, it's one thing to evolve, but it's another to make money out of your effort and, and, and believe in what you're doing. Uh, Albert, you are a media owner, and of course some of us have been able to also produce some of the things that we've done, but there have been some fingers being pointed at media owners. And this, I'm talking about the issue of paying of royalties, issues of, uh, you know, uh, copyright issues, and the royalties uh, is, is one of the things that some people are saying. Why are radio stations or media houses not paying to play this music that they play that is originally uh, Rwandese? What would you say about that? Is this what we Because that's not, the, the, that's not the, mu the business model we're at today mm -hmm. in, the, in the media industry. Mm -hmm. You know, where do you generate the revenue in the media industry mm -hmm. from? Mm -hmm. it, it is normally from, from advertising. You, you, need, you need, yeah, you need the private sector. But how big is this private sector? You know, so today, don't forget. I said something very important, crucial. Mm -hmm. It is because this private media came in that revealed, in fact, that, in, that gave a platform to the industry. Now, let's see it this way. You don't have to play these guys. Mm -hmm. it, it won't change anything to your revenue. Because it, if it was affecting your revenue, then, then that's different. But it, it, so it is also a choice to play that kind of music. Because you, you, you so, so here it is. The, Royalty starts also because you have the industry of reselling physical products. So it is a platform, f when, 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 when in the beginning, when a new artist comes, come, uh, when, when a record company releases an artist, you always have a grace period uh, to, pay, to, to have the media to pay the royalties because you want a, 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 a high turn, uh, turnover of, 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 or a high rate of play, that music being played. So if it was to be said today, you wouldn't be able to pay that? You no. no the, from, from where do you... Be, because you see, it, it becomes important when, when people are making money and, they, and, 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 and the, the things that they use to make money mm -hmm. that you also give back to that industry. But today, it is more... It is more of, a, of, a, of, a, of a, I, I would say, an, an advertisement platform for the, for the creative industry. It so is more, right. uh, you see, because it, it normally a producer should go all the way, uh, all the way with an artist. You produce him, then you you, you do multiplication of, of CDs, whatever, uh, or, or, or tapes or videos or whatever. You know, then you go to a promoter. And, 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 and you go to the media, it is being played, people hear about it. Now you have your distribution channel, so people, whenever they want, they can buy that thing. And you have it because it is being played, it is being watched uh, on, 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 uh, in the media. So, so what you're saying, you're playing an advertising role so you wouldn't no. pay them. No. Okay. Eric, no, no, Eric no, no, Soul, no. yes. <coughs> hmm? so so says no. <laughs> I, at this stage, yeah, yeah, I don't no, say, no, no. I, I don't say, Eric, I don't say yeah, yeah. because it's I know where, where, where yeah, I'm coming yeah, from. Yeah. I'm myself, a, I'm an artist. So we are not ready for that. 
not really as, a, as, as an industry. I mean, uh, the environment. At this stage really. in, the, you know, in the industry, no. If it is right for me to say this, um, uh, you know, your mom, Sissi, mm. uh, had this particular case, uh, you know, pushing and pulling of, of this particular uh, kind of situation that we're talking about right here. Do you think it's time for media houses and any other place that they play local music, they need to start paying uh, royalties? Is this the time? I think that for a well functioning nation, yes. all the sectors of socioeconomic development need to be aligned. Broadcasting is one of those sectors. Uh, music, creativity is one of those sectors. Um, so the argument of today saying, we are in 2016, we are in the digital age. So it's time to start the, doing The that. idea that you make music and you're going to sell CD, you need to forget about it. Mm -hmm. You know, you forget about it. So where will the, the money music come from? People get their music from wherever source. They will get it for free. They will download it. Now it's about building your brand as an artist and deal with synchronization. That means you sell the license of your music for the utilization of your music mm -hmm. and you sell your brand. That's it. You as a person. If you wear clothes, if you do live performances, this is where the income stream is coming. But Alba says he's not yet ready uh, to, to buy license to play The world is ready. We need to adapt. We need to leapfrog uh, music we can't from wait. a local we need to, we need to, I mean, that's the one second, 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 one second. Because, you know, they, they, two, three weeks ago there was like a um, Siska or Sisa or Sisak, Sisak yeah. and the Pascal yeah. Association yeah. Uh, about the, the collection of, uh, of royalties uh, towards yeah. the artist. Yeah. And they, they really recovered that point. The idea now today that if radio station in that model, mm -hmm. um, if all the artists understanding the value decide not to give any music to radio station what are the radio stations going, going to do right but other other says, other says that they are advertising you no no you look, need no. them there's more there's than they need it's, it's, it's no, different it's different segment. A don't mix up the, the, the segment the yeah. segment yeah. Yeah. you think let's TVs from today this. in rwanda can can play for the uh, for, uh, for, no no for the royalties of of the movies that they are playing on let me in nelson's argument let's not mix let me say this yeah let me say this okay now let me imagine one scenario where Okay, I'll build the, the ca cannot, uh, c cannot cannot pay for the music that is being played mm. on radio, right? Mm. It's fine. But now, I remember back years ago, I, I, haven't, I don't listen to Radio Rwanda often these days. They used to have this show called, um, uh, 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 this show where actually people used to pay money so that they can request a song. This could mm. demand. Mm. 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 Uh, so yeah. that they, they, can, they, they can request a song. <laughs> is that some game? But, is that some game? Yeah. That's what's a show on Radio Rwanda. Yeah. Mm. But I'd, I talked to all the artists who were being paid their music. That they were never paid a fraction of that money. So now it's the radio sending the content. That's right. So now let's go for, for a radio like FM. Their only business model is music. And then having one journalist who, who works for four sure. hours or five but hours a day. Just for, for, the, for the sake of time, let's go straight to that particular yes, the, the point. point. Especially is what one. Albert if, says if on royalties today and artists today's would situation. Say, yes. uh, if, if we had infrastructure that say, Every music that is being played on radio, we need to pay to pay a reality on on affordable way that radio can afford, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That would be perfect. Because why? If 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 that infrastructure was there, and then and then uh, artists say we are not going to give you the music, mm -hmm. even the Americans or even even the East African, because I was reading in the news a couple of uh, couple of uh, months ago, they amount uh, they amount platinum got almost thirty million realities from Kenya. Mm -hmm. So how does he get that? Mm -hmm. So now, if you had the same system, he would come to Rwanda and say, okay, you're not playing local music, but you end up playing bongo music on your mm -hmm. radio, mm -hmm. pay me too. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, radios are going to close, like KFM or and other radios, they are going to close. Here, it's not about promotion. Mm -hmm. It's also content mm -hmm. that we are looking So you feel they need you much Absolutely. as they... Yes, it does. But we need to work on a model where they yes. can pay us what they can afford. Are you ready? Because they're saying See, they're boycotting. This, uh, will this work? No, that, this that is, they're this not is, paying, this is so we will not give you This is traditional, right? Because yes. me, uh, I, bypass, I bypass that. Mm. I went straight to digital. Yes. Like, uh, I write my poems, I publish with my phone straight. And people are paying for that? Wait, now they're paying. They're mm. buying my music. My music is on all the... My that's sales platforms, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. get them on, not even iTunes now, Amazon, yeah. I'll give you a, a, an invoice later, but <laughs> talk to me directly about this. Alright, so what I, I realized actually is that artists don't realize that these platforms are there. Yes, it's good, they promote your music, but they cannot exist without your content. We are businesses to provide the content. So when I spend six hours of my time, I could be doing something else. And if I spend, this is actually where it dies because the artist is going to spend all that time and the energy. And then you realize, you know what? It's not paying. I'm just going to go be a mechanic. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to go be a, 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 a fundi or whatever, or an accountant. They, they work at the banks. We mm -hmm. see them, you know, mm -hmm. and they're miserable because 
because, not because the media cannot pay, but because the media are not working on a system where they can artists can be rewarded as well. Yeah, but, it, but you, it, you're it, just saying, you know, he's saying that uh, they need us. We need to look at this from that perspective. But in the end, the reality is that we've had stories of, of musicians who pay radio presenters to play their songs. Which is but how long, all how over long, the world. How long it's, can it's you sustain that? Really really how long does it go? It, it yes. happens it's here. We all know here. it. Yes. It's not you know, it here. happens everywhere. Every yeah. It happens yeah. everywhere, right? Yeah. But here's the difference yeah. is that this kid who finished high school, yeah, he doesn't have any job. So he's going to go ask his mom, his aunties, gets 50K, goes to the studio, talks to the producer, 40K, gets the song done, yeah? First song. Goes to the studio, talks to the presenter, 5K. All right? Goes home, the money's finished. The song hits a hit for one week, two weeks. And that's it. Where is he going to get the money to produce the second track, the album? Where is the money going to come from? Because in his mind is that the, the radio is going to is going to give him exposure. And from the exposure, mm -hmm. he's going to make more. But the way exposure works, it works when there is a platform where you can perform. Mm -hmm. the art, what you can do, you can showcase your art. Mm -hmm. But there is no per se platform. We have to wait for seven, once a year for Kigalia. Mm -hmm. It's on a festival once a year. And right now, the way it's being done, and this is the, again, another thing about advertising and the promoter side you do a show and you don't tell everybody so nobody's but, benefiting but, but you, know. you see yeah <laughs> that is exactly what i'm talking about i mean the the radio the media is only one of the links of the industry for there it's not free it's not free whenever kigali up as a as a as a as a, as a festival whenever they come up do they pay for advertising the, the, the show no do they pay for coverage no do an artist uh, come when he comes with a song and he has a concert? Does he pay for, 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 for the advertising even his concerts? No. So that is why I say there has been a collaboration. It's not the, the fact that it's free. Mm. I, I don't mean free. But th the fact of paying the royalties, it is a little bit too, too early. Although I know that is where we should go. But, but we need to build all the other... No, it's very important. Yeah. I think that, you know, yes. we live in Rwanda. Rwanda is leapfrogging everything. Yeah, in the last absolutely. Yes. Every sector is doing things faster than anybody else. And you else. don't understand why I'm I don't understand say it's still why not trading. When yes. it comes to culture, yeah. we want to wait. No, no, I, I, I'm not waiting. Yeah. I'm not it's waiting. Yeah. I'm it's not waiting. I'm, 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 I'm in the reality. I'm not in the, in the theory. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm coming from a culture where I've been living from, my, from what I was doing as a musician. Yeah. I came to Rwanda in 94 as a musician. I was a producer yeah. where, where, where I was coming from. So yeah. I was living from my music. Yeah. But there is the whole industry that is there. You have those platforms where, where they, I mean, they're paying a guy who works at Chen $150 a day and you are performing for, for your art only, uh, only just the same, the same price. Yeah. You see, so, so, and don't, so, so telling me about Rwanda, we are <laughs> Rwanda, so. we are leapfrogging. Yes, great. But the reality on the grounds, guys, I mean, this media industry is only 10 years, 10 years old. But what is the, the what is the revenue of that media industry it's today? The How, private, what, the what does it? Point. What the is the weight? Huh? The, the private. Uh, yeah, uh, the uh, private. Uh, uh, I've got the, the point of where they're saying. Sorry, yes, sorry, we have come from. Let me. Uh, come from. Uh, we, we still have to build the whole industry. But the only thing that I'm adding on what uh, on what Abel is saying is this: we need to have a will of policymakers to actually say, okay. you know what? We know the radios cannot afford to pay for realities, but at the end of the day we need to put a system at least that would work. But who, who puts this system? Do this we exactly, have to wait for exactly. the policy makers? Why, in, in, why, why, no, no, why do you need, you why do you need yes. policy no, no, makers? No, no, look, yes. look, uh, because yeah. you see, that the, the, when, when it becomes, uh, when, it, when it's not natural, yeah. when, it's, when it's created from the outside, yeah. you know, it, 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 you, can, you, can, you, can, you can help it. But the p it has to also to yes. come from the inside. Yeah. It has to come yes. from a syndicate position of, 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 of the artist. There used to the be an association yeah, yeah. of I agree. That. That's the yeah, part, that's the part where Eric was saying this. Yeah. We have these things, we have these things. But can we really make sure that these things There's a grow. cohesion. Co the, the and co from, from this that's conversation. That's where now we start to agree. So, 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 from, so this so argument, gentlemen, from this argument, gentlemen, as the grow comes out, is, is probably the musicians or those in the music industry I, 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 don't speak with one voice uh, f f f f f for certain from, from this particular conversation because if you would say that you do not want such kind of a treatment where others are being paid this amount and me from my creation, from my art, I accept to be uh, given this, then probably some change would happen. 
if you were speaking with one voice, I've, I've just talked about the, the association of musicians. No, I mean, these I, are kind of things in my, that in my, would in spearhead in such kind of no, policies it's, it's that you're saying. No, I mean, it's, it's, in my case, for example, even yeah. if I had to perform for yes. free and pay my own money to yeah. be on chat, I would have done it. Yeah. Because I know why I'm doing it. So, how many but, 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 but someone who works in culture, yeah. someone who works in culture, so should have valued Eric as a someone. Yeah. By calling Eric to be there, it's recognizing that he needs to be there. Yeah. But as someone who works in the culture, who has the means of organizing such great stuff, you need also to value where Eric is. Yeah. It's not 100. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and why would so Eric not we, say we, like no we, to that? Whatever that works in yeah. this country, oh, but you I need I to have say people no. who say, no. we need to go further that point. Even if but no one to come is from not the looking industry that. Also. But okay, yeah, okay, I okay. agree with that. But Le I think do, do what, what does let, me read, let, me, let me bring in one of it's our audiences important. also as well in, the, in this conversation. I have Pacific King who says, why do Rwandans don't recognize the efforts of artists? Are the peanut wages uh, recognitions uh, justifiable? Uh, it's, it's basically on the same particular topic. We're talking a bi about a business model here, yeah. right? So, when he said, you know, where the money is going to come from, you don't need to start, like, inventing the wheel. You just yeah. look elsewhere to a successful business model that works and you adapt to two over here. Where are we waiting? So what are we waiting those for kind of to do that? What are we waiting to do that? Resistance. There's a resistance from uh, certain... Where, where, where does it come from? Okay, yeah. let, let, yeah. Me, let me say. Because the, the, normal, the normal way. I'm telling you, if you go to France, France, there's a guy who's playing music and uh, they record some of his music and they play, that, they, they, they play his music in a little cafe. We're talking about 1920s. Yeah. The guy sued the cafe the cafe um, resists. They say, oh, your music was there, we're just, we're just playing it. The guy asks for royalties. Yeah. He win. Two years later, Sassem exists. Can we do that today? Can That's can what we need to do. In 2013, 2011 or 12, okay, Rebia came onto the scene. She didn't come to ask money for the radio. Mm -hmm. She came to just shake the tree. Mm -hmm. the, sh the normal sequences of events that, that, that happen, when an artist comes and, and, and demands um, uh, compensation for playing the music, there's a court case, there's a court case, there's a, there's a decision being taken by the judge, there's a precedent. Out of that, what should have happened, or what should, what's probably going to happen, is that people, it happened actually, that the radio became fearful of playing music, and they took the step not to happen again, because they don't want every artist to start like reclaiming money, <coughs> right? Is so, this so the so case? Yeah, okay, I know, 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 I the, co the, the government sees that they just like see okay our broadcasting industry yeah. is in jeopardy because yeah. all the artists could rebel there's a precedent yeah. and the artists could rebel you know they, uh, the all the artists can come and do the same thing they, 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 they yeah? get resistance so by local artists so and say we in are england, not giving your music in england you in france yeah. in america yeah. Yeah. in most of the modern modern, modern country yeah. what happens just like those cases happen with one artist yeah. creating a precedent and then the government step in and policy. create a system right. and a policy. Yeah. policy. For example, how much Here do you pay don't. for your license for the year to broadcast? Yeah. How much a, ra a private radio pay as a license to the RRA? To the RRA? Or to the Rwandan Revenue? How much do you Why to the Rwandan Revenue? A license? Or to oh, the Hura, to Hura, to Hura. Uh, to Hura. You, you, pay, you, you, pay, you, you pay your the license, license the cost for, of the for, license. For, for a time and then you pay your, your frequency. Exactly. Uh, so, so those are more, if, you get, if you have your system on yeah. with the government, the rural and the private sector, when those, those businessmen invest into radio, they need to pay a certain amount. Fraction of that speci specific of that amount goes straight into creating the infrastructure for collection agencies. Yes. Yeah. So that's where your money comes from. Let me, let me, yes. let me but, but in those systems, yes, in those systems yes. the same system pay back also the media. I, yeah. I, uh, yes. I think the, there, is, there, is, uh, there is money yeah. that people, because they have their radio at home, yeah. they pay for that. Yeah. Because they have a TV set at home, they yeah. pay a tax for that. Yeah. That tax also goes into the media. Yeah. Yeah. You, you see, so there is also streaming uh, media for, 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 for the media. But here, here it is. The, you, you, you see, you, you, you're putting things together that, that we, we're, not, we're not there yet. Mm. In, if you mean the, the case, why did I win the case uh, with Cecile mm. Kairebwa is because we had an understanding that I was promoting her music. Mm. By having this P, I was saying, today it's, ve it's much easier to play the boom, boom, boom uh, style of, of all of, of, all of those keys yes, yes. than to say, you know what? 
I want to play Florida Uera mm -hmm. that nobody never listened to. Mm -hmm. yes. I want to play this artist that nobody, that has so much talent, but nobody really uh, listens to it again. Here it is. I won't play uh, Cecile again because when I thought I was, I was, I was as an artist also uh, supporting her, she she, she sues me. Yes, then that, that, that no 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 that that, that is what, what what happened. But but <laughs> so so here the the whole thing to have the media as it was a, when I was saying a missing link in the whole industry yeah. was also to have an understanding and a collaboration between the the, the creative industry right. and to and to have offer an opportunity of. of uh, of, uh, of, of a platform. So they should be building uh, of bridges course. in this the, 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 That's the whole point. Yes, I have very few minutes to go, but I'm going to uh, read some of the comments so that we can react to these ones here. Yeah, I have Alan Natalinda who says, for media to pay an artist, music loses. Creativity gets lost. When you have a media mogul as an artist, don't expect variety. This is my point. Do you agree? What happened? What, uh, no, what does it mean? Uh, first, uh, in, in English. Let me say something. Let me say something. Maybe Abel might be a mogul and then music. Media. Yeah. But at what? the end of the day, his radio has different presenters. Yeah. Okay. So, I think that was the question. As what does it mean, Nelson? It means that whenever you write kind of music, there's a conflict of music that is going to be a conflict of interest. This is what he's trying to say. Because you are either an artist who defends the artist. Albert wants it to be written in English. Or you're an industry player, yes, a mogul of media, thank you. and you defend the media. Awesome. Uh, you cannot uh, do both. Alan wants... Of course yeah. I do both, because no, we, we're leapfrogging. Yeah. That is exactly what yes, you were talking about. Yes, he can do both. They, do there both. Was, when there was no no private media, yeah. we didn't have all of these talents known today. We yeah. didn't have the, the yes, all sure. of these guys. Yes. Yes. Because you had even to go to Radio Rwanda and yeah. write a, a letter that you will never claim anything out of this music that you... Yeah. I had a I radio studio in those days, and people came to me and they say, please, I, I, I'm going to pay you music to, to, to be produced. Yeah. And I say, if I do it, it's going to be for your ego. Yeah. Because of what? Where are you going to play your music? Yeah. So, 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 so thinking, me as an artist, yeah. it was exactly one of my one of my points of struggle that so to, no to, conflict to, of interest here. No, not at Zero. all Ravigui says that media hasn't established a reliable system to support growth of anything so yes you're anything? welcome <laughs> this this is what they say they, 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 there are no structures no systems uh, that have been put out there um, uh, on royalties albert spoke like a businessman and shrunk fellow panelists it's like music here needs more of media than media That's needing them. You know, what happened the, the, is because it's the very musicians. important. The, the, the case of Kairevga yeah. was really, it was a very big misunderstanding here in Rwanda that people thought that the artist wanted to go into the pocket of the media player. That was yeah. not the, that was yeah. not the point. L let me add oh, one more. Let me more. finish, let me finish. Yes, yes. Because when the case was at this peak, you in could fact, see, it was you could, your case. Yeah, yeah you, could, you could see the reaction <laughs> in the media. No, man, you can see the reaction to the media. And then what happens? That oh, we are not certain, certain artists yeah. and media yeah. Gather together to boycott the action of an artist so to elevate the Eric, scene. Eric, we, we, are not, we are not, we are not no, no, bringing no, it's, the court here. It's, it's not that. Nelson, let it's me. Okay, that. I'm the boss here. Let me read this. this <laughs> yes, yes. Fiona <laughs> Bavazi says that it's time the entertainment industry is given a boost. All work, no play makes one dull. And by that, appreciate our artists. But how do we appreciate our artists? How would you love to be appreciated? I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, right? The way, um, because you need to have a plan if you want to do music in Rwanda. Yeah. You cannot just go to a studio and say, I'm going to release. In 30 seconds. You cannot just go to a studio and say, yeah, I'm going to release the track and put it on radio station. Yeah. And yeah. that's it. No. Yeah. You need to have a plan. The way I'm doing mine is that when I look at my, I produce my music on the internet, my audience, the biggest part of my audience is not even in Africa. Yeah. So already I know where my shows are going to be. So I you have to create a niche. I'm creating a niche. It's already it's already happening. Awesome. Yeah. In closing, what do you think? Where do we go from here? What do we do? I think what we need, we need to build first infrastructure, which says we have studios, we have radios. By now we need a place where we can perform or even uh, an, um, an environment where people can actually get to pay for their music beyond physical or streaming. And who do you want to give you that? And then I'm saying this, I'm saying like, the government, as much as it has, it's need to create that same environment because I don't want to go on a show and police closes in the next two Notice. hours. Eric, where do we go from here? Infrastructure and to realize that there's like two ways of the music. There's the cultural heritage that needs to be defended, protected, invested in, yeah. not necessarily for profit yeah. because that's the identity of the country. And, uh, and, uh, and the, the pop music culture, let's adapt and just like professionalize the industry. Right. Albert, we started with you. Let's close uh, with you. Be, no, no, it's fine. It'd uh, be nice to have a... Uh, uh, a ministry of, of, of culture on its own yeah. that is not mixed with, with other oh, stuff.
because that is that important. Is it, we, we make we, we give so much importance to, to the creative, to our culture, to the tradition, and we don't have a Ministry of Culture. We have museum and all that. So we need that because that goes into also protection of, of, of our identity and development of, yeah. our, of our identity. Yeah. But the infrastructure and to liberalize the free access to entertainment. So we don't have free access to entertainment. Okay. I mean, I, I, we, we see that something is blocking there. This, this and, a blockage and, there. And, 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 and so, yeah. so meaning that I, also we now... We, I'm going to cut you short. Yeah, 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 very, very short. Yes. We also need to see music. For the moment, we don't see music. We hear it. No, we, 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 hear, we hear sounds, you see? And, and we enjoy some of the boom boom. But if you can't see a guitar player playing guitar, yeah. if you can't see a guitar... You want uh, environment for live performances. No, but also, yes, also in the media. Thank you, Because Alba. in the media, yes. We are done. Thank you so right. much. That's all the time we had for this particular platform. But of course, the conversation goes on online. So whatever you wanted to add on, we can still add it on on Twitter. We can still have this conversation going on. All of us and our viewers who have been tweeting. Thank you so very much for being with us right here on Debate 4 and 1. We'll see you again on Monday next week for another steamy hot topic right on debate for one. My name as always is Eugene. Uh, oh Goodbye. <laughs>